What is up guys, in today's video we're gonna be doing a few things to the new white Miata. Um, I just got back from taking the camera Gini to a show and I am super beat, so we're gonna do some smaller, easier stuff on this car today. We're gonna do a super quick, I shouldn't say super quick. We're gonna be doing a few modifications that are gonna make this car so much better. One, we got a steering wheel. This is not what I'm going to be running. I don't really care for the yellow, but this is a Friends. If you guys know Oscar with the Velocitor, he let me borrow this. This is from his old Velocitor. Um, and I'm just going to borrow this until I can get my own. And I had to just install a 2-inch spacer uh, because the short hub I got is just way too close to the stocks. Another thing is we did this radio. This is a Android Play or something like that. Basically, it connects to my phone. I didn't realize that the other aftermarket stereo that was in here didn't have all of the bracketry for this thing. Um, I just took out the little pocket there, and I thought it was going to fit in there. So I had to go ahead and order this thing. So basically, this is going to be a double-din conversion for the Miata, and we'll sort all that out along with adding another two speakers to this car. At some point, I would like to do a sub, just like a 10 inch sub in the rear in the trunk, uh, make my own box and all that, kind of make it sit in where the uh, factory spare tire usually goes. But for now, we're just gonna be adding another two speakers to the setup. We only have the door speakers. They do pretty good, but I want this to actually be a pretty good system overall. Um, I haven't really had a Miata that ever really sounded good. Again, we're just trying to make this Miata nicer and just something that I can drive every single day. And obviously, I wanna listen to music and especially when we're on the highway and it's revving at like 4,000 RPMs and we're cruising. It's uh, kind of annoying having to just blare these door speakers and, and they can only do as good as they can do. But what we're gonna do today is a pretty inexpensive and should be relatively easy mod. We're going to take apart this rear deck here. Uh, behind the seats, there's a little aluminum panel that goes around the gas tank area and we're gonna cut some holes in there. There's some pockets in there and uh, we're basically going to cut out the panel we're going to cut out a little bit of the carpet perfectly hopefully for where the speakers are going to go right behind the headrest and so we'll have some nice six and a half uh, speakers right behind the headrest to give us uh, a little bit better quality and then from there when we do the sub in the rear it should be nice and equal uh, with having uh, some nice mid and high range along with the lows because I don't want to just have you know just two door speakers and then a sub I feel like uh, the sub would just overpower it one thing I want to go over with these is these were pretty much uh, one of the cheapest options I could get on Amazon with Amazon like two day or one day prime uh, shipping that also had the screens that covered the entire speaker so that way when they're in the back I can have stuff back there and throw stuff back there and not worry about them getting damaged or getting stuff inside there Obviously dust or whatever could still collect in there I'm sure it will but it's better than having uh, just whatever I end up throwing back there landing on top of it and breaking it damaging the speaker in any sort of way um, These things were literally like $28 or something like that. So they're super cheap. I'm sure they're not you know the best but I don't really care. I'm not looking for the best. I'm just looking for okay. Here you can see the screen that covers the entire speaker. Some of them have just like some simple bars and I really just wanted something that would cover the whole thing. Just something nice and simple. So first thing we're gonna do is start taking this thing apart. We're going to install the speakers, make sure everything's good. And then from there, we'll do our double din conversion thing to get that set up in there. And uh, that way it's not just loose in there. Um, I'm sorry if I don't get very good shots, obviously because I have the hard top and this has the brackets on there. I would just take this off for easy access, but unfortunately it takes like two people to take this thing and put it back on. I'm basically gonna get the best angle possible, and I'm sorry if you can't really see too much, I'm gonna show as much as I can.
So my plan is to basically throw this thing in the car, put a couple bolts in, make sure it's kind of centered the way we want it. Uh, one, make sure it clears, which I'm pretty sure it will, no problem. Uh, I know some people have put way bigger speakers here um, in this same orientation without doing any uh, extra panel or anything. Um, but we're going to cut out the carpet uh, pretty much a little bit bigger than this and then we're going to pinch the carpet so we're going to install this onto there and we're going to pinch the carpet in between like here and then this piece here that way this nice finished panel is on top i'm not 100 sure if that's uh you know okay or not but i'm sure it'll be all right as long as nothing's caught in between there I actually changed up what i'm going to do i'm just going to install them after the fact all on top i'm not going to bother pinching the carpet in between the speaker and then that little grill i'm going to do the whole thing on top of the uh carpet that way it kind of insulates the vibrations a little bit um and then basically what i'm going to do now is i'm going to pull apart the center console all this i'm going to wire up the speaker Obviously, I'm just going to be splicing into the left and right rear speakers on the back of the radio, that little uh, harness there. And then, of course, test it, make sure it works, and if it all goes well, then we're going to reassemble everything. Then, after that, we're going to install the speakers, and it'll be done. Just tested both of these, and they are working perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and throw all of this back together, and then do the final installation of the speakers, and then we'll move on and do the bracketry for this thing. Yesterday we finished up our speaker install on the new Miata and um, and I wasn't able to finish up this video just because it was way too dark out and it was raining and I really didn't want to take it outside and there just wasn't enough light to be able to really see them. Um, and we couldn't pull it inside either just because there's already the two cars in there. And so this is what it looks like. Overall it is a pretty clean install. On either side, we have both speakers that are almost directly behind both seats. They look good, they sound good, everything is perfect. Obviously, uh, these aren't really uh, doing any more than just giving us some mids and highs. Um, eventually, we are going to get a sub, but for now, this is a very nice, easy, quick upgrade to a basic stereo system. We also did our double din upgrade here, and this is very, very nice. Very quick and easy install. Honestly, uh, this was probably one of the easiest radio installs I've ever done. It was literally just clipped right in after you bolted it to the stereo on either side. As for the speaker install, we basically just used some self-tappers. You can definitely see this one poking out a little bit. We're gonna have to do something about that. We're definitely going to want uh, you know, some black hardware to hold those things in there at some point, just to clean it up a little bit. But other than that, they look perfect. Perfect. They sound perfect and I have absolutely no complaints. Before we finish out this video, I'm going to give you an update on where we're at with a couple extra things that I didn't film. We got the badges front and rear all the way around, which are absolutely ridiculously overpriced. For all of the badges, it was like $80, maybe a little bit more. I don't remember, but that's used too, except for this front one. This one's brand new OEM. Uh, we did do this little uh, tow hook there, which I did that a couple days ago. Basically, I just found it while I was going through some boxes in the old shop, and I said, what the hell, might as well just paint it black because it was some weird neochrome color, so that's pretty awful. So I just painted it black, installed it, so we got that on there. As you saw, we did our little steering wheel extension here. Um, super simple, easy install. Like I said, we got our badges in the back here, all three of them, and then I also did do the latch covers for these. Again, this is a snug top, not an OEM hard top, it's OEM like. What I did was I ordered uh, some OEM hard top latch covers. Uh, they didn't fit 100% perfect. Uh, they are very, very slightly different and honestly, no one's ever going to be able to tell and they fit on there, they're really, really snug on there. Um, the only thing is we weren't able to get a screw in the side here, which honestly, after the past show that I just went to, I looked at all the Miata hard tops, no one had a single bolt in these rear latch covers. Um, it's actually really, really tight in here, and these things aren't going anywhere. There's that one bolt that holds it in from the bottom side, and uh, basically, I just kind of retrofitted the OEM ones to a non-OEM top. Um, it was just close enough that it really didn't matter. 
Anyways guys, that about wraps it up for today's video. I highly recommend this as an easy, simple modification to make the car a little bit nicer, a little bit more enjoyable. Anyways guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it and peace out.